hand on the top. All right, come on, you two. <laughs> Might go out into a different area. This is where I like to take off from. But I'm thinking let's go towards the middle of the field because I've got the wind at my back and I want some space in front of me. I don't want to have to go just flying over the power lines over there to stay upwind of myself. Hey, I'm not sure if I've flown with the wind in this direction. I must have flown with the wind in this direction before. So it's, it's a little bit breezy. I'm not sure if it's... shouldn't be too much. It's, it's pretty gentle. As long as there's some consistency, you just don't want real gusts and things. You wait till you got right out here and then he's like, okay, now we'll go. <laughs> well, it bolted. Yeah. So look at the grass, look how long it is here. And look how short it is just there. You just love long grass. So if I have to make any uh, slightly worrisome landings, you know where I'll be landing in the soft grass. Because <laughs> yeah. oh. from where the wind's blowing, I'm going to have to fly up there anyway, that's why I'm walking down here so much. Those people over there? Yeah. They got out of that car and I saw their dog in the back. Yeah. And so I started like, oh, and they must have thought I was like, oh my god, quick, there's people coming. Yeah. This is going to get up in the air pretty quick, so I might just uh, take off from around here. Got a nice freshly charged batteries for the transmitter. I'm just going to be floating around up there. I'm not doing anything. I don't like to do any tight maneuvers or anything in windy conditions anyway. It's just, I find it just stressful. Stressful. There's my shade. So what have I got here? So I labeled all my batteries, 2A and 2B, these are the new ones. Cool. Check all my linkages and everything. She's a little windy. Nothing I can't punch through. Get the timer ready. So this is where I check my um, my rates. So this is low, high rates, low rates. Left, right. My left are on. My right are on. My up evader and my down evader. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of annoying when you've got um, you got to consider the wind as well as uh, the position of the sun. I'd rather just have my back to the sun, but yikes, yeah. That's why you want to stay upwind. So that's at 50% throttle. She's just really hanging up there.
this is going to be interesting to land. Oh my god. <laughs> Padding stations. I really shouldn't be worrying about anything. sweaty palms flying in this sort of weather I mean it's a beautiful day it's just a little little bit windy you almost just all you gotta do is just get the attitude of the nose up and you can there's just so much lift I'm not adding any more throttle Look at that, it's freaking crazy. This is pretty good gliding weather actually. Must be just a fairly consistent wind up there. Sweaty palms happening. Uh, three axis gyro stabilization, six axis gyro stabilization. Who needs it? Zero throttle. In accordance with our plan, let's get this bird down. That's what we shall do, even though the battery is probably barely depleted. She's going to want to float, so let's look around. seconds 25 seconds more than that so ordinarily that would have been the end of our time out here but i've got two more batteries hell's yeah hell's yeah Go. 
dusty taking off. We just got to get her up. Give her altitude. She'll be alright. Too many crickets. up as I'm trying to practice an approach. It's just sort of hover, 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 plump. I've done three batteries, that's enough for me. I don't want to risk it in, in this wind anymore. Yeah, now it's getting gusty. We can go to your mum's if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. I've got another one I can do later then. You know, I've got a spare one. So I've done, done three. That is good. So my last battery should be 2B. Oh, 1B. So I might put all the used ones. Can you give me 
stay at home. Everything is off. Oh. So battery, yeah, just like, yeah. It's been a, yeah, that should be good. Put all these. So that's my remaining one B is good. Put these ones. I'm filled with a little bit more confidence. That's a bit stressful though. Yes. The second the second flight was the best because it was a consistent laminar wind. There was no lumps and bumps, or not as many. That one, especially just then like it's just like the plane was going whoa, jumping I was like okay and then when I went to collect it and take out the battery it already winged over and it was basically pointing in the wind into the wind so the wind is changing direction a little yeah. and it's it's um, fluctuating in speed so it's not really not really fun times when it does that anyway cool mission accomplished how would you rate my flying since I started? Very good. Do you want to elaborate? I don't have anything to compare it to, but it looks very good. <laughs> Look at this mounting. So this was the wind I was flying in. And this is a foam aeroplane. Alright, come on, jump in. Let's go. That one looks a little out-ish, but it doesn't really affect it, I don't think. Oh, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to put my backpack and hold this thing at the same time without breaking something. Oh, good lord. I'm so Sideways, maybe?